Okay, we're back here for part two. Um, part two of my uh, EDC system is uh, my optional survivalist carry items. These are not items that uh, you know we already went over my uh, mandatory items, which I don't deviate from. But uh, here are some optional things that, uh, depending on the situation, um, you know I will be carrying. And um, and by the way, to make all this possible, you know, there, there's a lot of different items here on the table. Um, to make all these possible, I have what I call my EDC bag. There it is. Everything that I'm not using goes in that bag. Uh, and it's usually in the car or in my at my office or at home. Wherever I'm at, that bag is not usually too far away. And uh, this allows me to swap out items so that on my person, I'm always carrying my mandatory list. Um, so, pepper spray. I do carry um, pepper spray in case I do need a non-lethal option. Um, and also, I love this thing. This here is a uh, stun gun. This is a uh, million volts of stunning power. <laughs> uh, flashlight stun gun combination there. Um, I do carry this if I'm in, a uh, perfect example is, you know, New Year's. I um, live here in Florida, and if my wife and I, if we do go downtown for the uh, New Year's celebration, there's usually, uh, you know, a lot of drunk individuals down there. I'll carry this underneath my shirt, pull my shirt down over, clip it to my belt, or put it in uh, my pant pocket. Um, and then that gives me a non-lethal option in case... Uh, you know, my wife and I are threatened, let's say, by some belligerent drunk or something. So, um, you know, you don't always want to shoot everybody. You want to be very careful in deploying your weapon, um, even uh, brandishing it. Um, you know, you want to be very careful with that. So, only deploy my weapon. Actually, never have had to yet. Uh, hopefully, never have to. But uh, uh, be prepared if... Uh, I am prepared, though, if, uh, if I do need to. Uh, so the next thing I do, I do have a self-defense pen, which I really like this. I do, I, I carry this in my EDC bag. Sometimes it ends up in my pocket if I expect to, you know, need a, a writing instrument of some type. But it does have a glass breaker on the end, and inside the cap there is a ferrocium rod um, that can be used as a fire starter. I love this thing. This thing is uh, it's a great tool. Uh, but often, you know, it's not on my mandatory list of things I carry, so it's in my EDC bag, but... Uh, don't usually end up carrying this, but uh, the next thing um, I have created is my survival carabiner, which this, whenever I go hiking at least, or I'm out uh, doing one of my survival trips, um, or I'm hunting, I engage in all those things, um, I always carry this with me. This has my survival whistle on it, which has, you know, compass, um, Victorinox right there. Um, inside a, uh, one of these I have a fishing kit, another one has some fire tinder, and uh, one has some uh, etc. And you can pick these up uh, just at a drugstore, these uh, waterproof sealable containers. Great for you know, making little uh, kits. Um, I do like, like cigars, so I do carry my cigar clip. Probably not on your kit. Got my little USB thumb drive there. And uh, some of my firearm locking keys. Are, uh, are on there. So that's my uh, survival carabiner. This does, you know, go into my pocket sometimes when I'm, you know, just in town. But uh, typically, this is in my EDC bag unless, uh, you know, I am out hunting or um, I am on a survival overnight trip, you know, where I'm out for a couple days or so, um, hiking or whatever. This uh, this does come with me, scouting uh, for hunting and so forth. Um, so this here, th these here items, let me just, I'll just zoom out here from the table and just put, these are all the items that I incorporate into my EDC. Um, however, obviously I do not carry all these at the same time, unlike uh, some of you, uh, the other YouTubers out there, which uh, um, seem to indicate that they carry all this stuff at the same time. Uh, three firearms, four knives, and... Uh, and the kitchen sink in their back pocket. So I just don't really believe that that's actually happening. So, um, But develop a system for yourself. 
something that works for you. This here is what works for me. It doesn't mean that's going to work for you, but this is what works for me. And um, but you know I have you know required that I do carry these items, and I always will have these on me. You know, if you see me dressed up, uh, wearing dress slacks and a tucked-in uh, shirt and wearing a tie, and if you think you can mug me at that point. Um, um, I will have a firearm and I will have a self-defense or a knife that can be deployed in self-defense situation also on me. So don't, don't think that uh, my guard is down at any point. Um, take uh, the defense of my family and my person uh, very seriously. So uh, The other thing is, like I said, is my EDC bag. This here bag here, I'm not going to go over the entire contents of it. You know, uh, In this bag I do uh, carry a first aid kit. A small sewing kit. You can see there's a pair of binoculars in there. Carry a few additional knives. Actually, here's uh, this is a good item right here. Here's the uh, the Nebo red line as opposed to the uh, the blue line one right there. Uh, for the price, you simply cannot go wrong. This takes uh, three uh, AAA's, and um, it throws an amazing beam. I mean, this uh, does, uh, I believe, 220, 230 lumens. Uh, actually, it does say right on there. Let's see here. Uh, 220 lumens. I don't know if you guys can see if my camera will focus here. Um, just an amazing beam. Basically, a small, you know, spotlight for about 24 bucks. I think I got this off of Amazon for 24 dollars. So, I mean, that's that's about a third of the price of you know my Phoenix. So. You really just can't go wrong. I just carry that in my UC bag. It's just another flashlight. I do carry um, in my UC bag one of those little crank flashlights also. Uh, one of those. You can pick these up. Walmart or uh, drugstore, just any place. Um, I do carry a, a, a metal water container here. Uh, so in case I would have to boil water. I do have... Um, um, uh, water purification tabs in here, uh, some additional lighters, uh, some fluid for my Zippo, some flints for that, a compass. Um, here's uh, a Spyderco Tenacious. Uh, inside I do have a larger knife. I do carry the uh, Cold Steel Pocket Bushman in here. Um, big, big knife. Um, could use this, you know, in a uh, shelter building, building, fire building. I have actually not used this. Usually I end up using all my fixed blades. I do need to take this out in one of my survival trips and, uh, you know, test it with uh, some batoning and some survival, uh, shelter building. Have not used this yet, really, at all. It's just been sitting in my EDC bag. So I do know that I believe uh, I did see a video on Nut and Fancy breaking his, or his, uh, his blade lost a chunk when he was doing some batoning. So so, I mean, it's not that expensive a knife, so I might fall up on it, too, and see how it stands up for me. But uh, it appears to be a pretty tough, you know, solid knife, but it's uh, pretty hard to deploy, actually, with your thumb. There we go. Big knife, though. Folds up. Nice and compact. Uh, it's got the uh, ram lock, I believe is what they call it. Um, we'll see. Well, I'll, I'll give this a test yet and see how it holds up. Um, so... This EDC bag is never too far from me. This carries all my alternative EDC items. Um, if I'm not carrying uh, the DB380, it's in the uh, concealed carry slot on the back of the bag right here. There's a place for uh, to holster uh, either my Glock or my DB380, depending on which one I'm carrying. Um, <clears throat> have some spare ammunition and things in there. Um, it's just... Uh, it's a system that works for me, I guess. Um, I don't know. Uh, you may have different mileage. Um, once again, this is not how everybody should be doing it. This is how I do it. So I think uh, I think that's uh, that's it. So I think that's going to be my first YouTube video. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, post comments. Uh, let me know what I maybe need to do different or some suggestions or whatever. Okay, we'll talk to you guys later. Remember to uh, to practice the Second Amendment and to uh, um, be safe out there, guys. Talk to you later.